Are you a Saul or an Ananias to others? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. An English commando killed a German soldier in action in France during World War II. He wrote to the dead soldier's mother, As a soldier, it became my duty to kill your son. I earnestly ask your forgiveness, for I am a Christian. I shall take an opportunity to meet you personally after the war is over. The dead mother received the note several months later and replied to the English soldier, I find it in my heart to forgive you, even though you had killed my son, for I too am a Christian. In today's first reading, we read one of the major turning points in the life of the early Christian community and the development of the church centuries hence. Saul was himself a willing collaborator in the death of the first Christian martyr, Stephen, was on his way to Damascus, a distance of 250 kilometers or 150 miles north of Jerusalem, a journey of four to six days to arrest Christians and bring them back to Jerusalem to be imprisoned and even put to death. Saul meets Jesus, had his powerful conversion experience, becomes blind for three days. Ananias, upon instructions from the Lord, visits Saul and prays over him. Thereupon, Saul regains his sight immediately and goes to the Jewish synagogues to proclaim Jesus as the Son of God. Ananias appears only once in scriptures and never again. He represents most of us, insignificant, ubiquitous, and remarkable. He was reluctant to see Saul because of the many nasty things he has heard about him. But like Ananias, we may be asked by God to accept others, to see the goodness in people, and to bless them with our love. We may be sinful too, like Saul. We may have our own flaws and weaknesses. We may be broken and despised by society, but we can be a chosen instrument of God, as in Acts chapter 9, verse 15. God may ask us to be His agent of transformation, to lead others back to Him, through our witnessing, through our love for our enemies, through our compassion and forgiveness. Indeed, brothers and sisters, we are Christians and we must have Christ in our hearts as we face the world boldly, lovingly in proclaiming the truth. Oh, by the way, this German woman whose son was killed by the English commando in our story, she continued in her letter with these words, If we are living after the war is over, I hope you will come to Germany to visit me, that you may take the place of my son in my home and also in my heart. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, make me a willing instrument to bring others to you through the love, the compassion, and forgiveness I can give them. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.